Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. If you're new here, my name is Manpreet and I post videos every Monday and Thursdays. So hit that subscribe button to see more. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I went to visit Canada for a month and now I'm back in Dubai. But we also came back and moved into a different apartment. So life's been a bit crazy and a bit hectic for this past week. So today I'm gonna to be sharing how I plan my week and how I make sure I focus on self-care during the week as well. And if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know that self-care is so important to me. So I like to incorporate it into my life as much as I can. So if you wanna get your hands on the same planner that I use, there's a link in the description box below and you can download it for free. So my planning routine is very, very different and it changes over time. This depends on whether I'm working, whether I'm on holiday, whether I have other people to think about. And sometimes I'm very strict with how I plan and every single hour of the day is blocked out. But on other days, I just go with the flow. So this is what the planner looks like and I usually just download it straight onto my iPad so I can write on it there. But you also have the option to print it if that's what you prefer. So each week I like to think about which kind of self-care that I will need most, whether it's something physical like a face mask or a yoga class, or if it means just hanging out with my friends and watching a movie. As I've mentioned in my previous videos, self-care can be applicable in so many different ways. It can be emotional, spiritual, mental, anything. So I like to think about which kind of self-care that I need to give to myself during that week. For example, if I feel like I'm not looking after my physical body, so I may focus on including more walks during my day or a face mask or it can be something spiritual where I might need to extend my meditation time or maybe do meditation twice a day instead of just once a day. So I think this is really valuable when it comes to planning what kind of self-care you need just to make sure every single part of yourself is fully charged and looked after. Another thing to look at is how much time you have and for me this varies every single week. Some weeks my days are jam-packed where I can barely find any time for myself during the day whereas other weeks I have a full day that I can dedicate to looking after myself. So once you've figure out how much time you have available for yourself you can make the most of it. It also helps you realize how much time you're spending doing mindless things where you could incorporate a meditation. For example if you're folding laundry you can always turn that into a meditation practice because it's so simple it doesn't really require a lot of thought. Sometimes I find it really difficult to look after myself because I tend to prioritize other people and I put other people before me. But when I start my week knowing this and knowing that I have something to work on, then it's a lot easier to just switch out that mindset and focus on myself. I've also included a weekly meal plan because I think food is one of the biggest ways that you can truly nourish yourself. Eating good food makes you feel good and it's as simple as that. Planning my meals every week gets rid of the stress of deciding what to eat and then reaching out for something that may not be as good for you. And now moving on to what I do at the end of the day, I have a list of self-care acts that I want to focus on during the week and I simply just check them off if I did them. This helps me hold myself accountable. At the end of the day, I'm only looking after myself for myself so I am the only one that's accountable for this so just going back and reminding myself to do all these things throughout the day is a really good way for me to focus on them and make sure I've got them done. And you all know how much I love gratitude so at the end of the week I like to reflect on everything that I've done, focus on my wins, focus on what I'm grateful for and then even focus on what I can do better next week. So this is how I plan my week and focus on my well-being and self-care. And if you're interested in getting this planner, you can download it for free. You just have to click the link in the description box below. Make sure you check out my other videos on self-care just to get to know a little bit more about the different types and how you can start your journey of self-care. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to look after yourself, be kind to yourself, and I will see you next time. Bye.